stronger than forever when it's you and me together cause I never lost my faith in you every time when I felt you would pull me through yes I never lost my faith in you oh I never lost my faith in you Hey Stella. You're fine, baby. Hi, Ann. Hi. Hi, love. It's okay, Stella. It's okay. It's okay, my love. It's okay. Okay, so we gotta get it together for her, honey. Chris is coming. Chris is coming, and we're gonna say you goodbye to her right together. now. Every day for a lot of years, we've been making daily videos. We don't have one for yesterday because it's the day that a tragic accident happened with our mayor and I need the memory of that day and a lot of you guys have been asking us for closure and so I'm going to make this video. I cried a lot today and I cried a lot yesterday. Our ponies are so devastated. I want to have this record of the last day we had with Stella. So I'm just going to tell you her story. I'm going to tell you the story of what happened to Stella and why she died. And then I'm going to put it behind me. I'm always going to remember her, but I'm going to stop remembering the day that she died because there are a lot of really horrible things that happened. This story is a story of all the things that helped to make that day more bearable for us. So, there was a tragic accident. We got Stella. Stella was 13 years old. We weren't expecting her. She had some problems in the past, but we had worked through them and she was doing really well. I'm not gonna go into a lot of details, but on the day that Stella died, she broke her leg. Severed her artery and died 15, within 15 minutes. When she died, we were all with her. Everybody that loved her came, and that is one of the big things that really helped me through it, was that Brandon and Fiona and our vet, all the people that have had such a big part in Stella's life, they all came. They were all there with her. With her. Gabby was the first one to Stella. These are the things that I keep thinking. These are the things that I want to remember. Gabby was the first one to Stella. She was the first one there. She was strong like a rock and she held her head. She held her head and just held her. I was screaming like a maniac like I do. And I hate that. I hate that I was screaming over and over and over. It was just so hard. I didn't look at her injuries. Did you look at her injuries? Very sen mostly people were very sensitive and they did not look at her injuries. I felt like it was disrespectful to her. I didn't want anybody to see the broken bits. I wanted them only to see the good part of her. And Debbie said to me, Mom, stop, you're scaring her. And I was able to draw it back in and be that get some strength like he, I was able to be for a few minutes what Stella needed me to be in our videos there's always been the question does Stella really love me and does she really love us and I know that she did love us and I know that I brought her comfort I know I've known for a long time now that Stella takes comfort from me that I somehow was able to teach her that I could give her comfort and if you guys remember when she was at the old barn Sylvie worked so hard. We all worked so hard to get her to know that we were her people and to trust us. And that is the thing that happened. Stella did trust us. And when I was able to get it together, I sat by her head and I stroked her. And even though she was in terrible pain, 
she, her one eye, zeroed in on my face and on my voice and in those few moments I gave her comfort. She visibly relaxed and just let go of the pain and focused on my voice. And then Brandon arrived. He was the first of our team to arrive, the first of the people that love her to arrive and I saw him get out of his car and I saw him assess the situation. I, I, I knew, I knew she was, I knew it was over. I knew it was over. I just kept praying for God to take her now. Please just take her now. The vet was on the way, Fiona was on the way and I just wanted him to take her now. But I felt, how could this big, huge, beautiful horse die so quickly? How could she have so sustained so much injury that it would just take her? I, I, I just kept praying, God, please just take her now. Brandon got out of his car and he walked to us and he assessed her from her head to her, from her feet to her head as he walked. He never went down to look at her. He walked straight to us. He didn't come to us, he walked straight to Stella. He walked straight to Stella's head and knelt down and put his hand on her head. And I feel honestly that he has got such a calm, teacher-like presence. He, he's very stern, but not in a bad way. He, he commands calmness. And he sat down beside her and he put his hand on her head. And very quickly after she died, she, she passed away. And it was 15 minutes from the moment that it happened. Brandon was with her. I was with her. Gabby was with her. Sophie was with her. I'm so grateful that the pain was so over so quickly for her. Fiona stayed with us until they came for her. Fiona arranged, Brandon and Fiona and our vet arranged for everything that needed to happen after. We left her, we left her to go inside so that we wouldn't see what would happen when they took her and that was the hardest part just leaving her. The whole thing happened and I just didn't want to leave her. None of us wanted to leave her. But yeah, I didn't want to leave her. I just wanted to stay there. I didn't want them to take her. I just, if I could keep her and it meant staying beside her out in the cold and just staying there forever and never leaving, I would, if that meant that I could keep her, even just keep her body, I, I would have done that. But obviously you can't do that. But that was the hardest part was that was that she's gone and I don't know how to do it anymore without her. Like, she was the heart of our barn, you guys. She was the heart of our barn. Our, our minis are so sad. It was sudden. It was an accident. It was tragic. Yet it was beautiful in the fact that everybody came. Everybody came for her. I feel like this poor horse that really was nobody. Everybody stopped everything and came for her. And that to me gave her life so much value. Like I appreciate the fact that every people left work, people raced in a, in a blizzard, people came to help us and to be there for her, to be there for her. And that is the most powerful thing. And the fact that all of you guys have supported us and all of you guys came. It was so nerve wracking posting the whole thing. I was scared. I didn't, I, I wasn't, posting it meant it was real. You guys have been sharing stories and, and condolences and the support has been overwhelming and beautiful and kind. And I truly believe <sighs> Ruby came back. She knows I'm sad. I truly believe with all of my heart that Stella is all of our horse. So many did not believe in Stella at the beginning, but I feel like you all came to love and believe in Stella. You saw the changes that love made in her life, and I want her life to be about that. I want her life to be about how love changes everything. And that's it. That's the story of Stella. We had her for a year and a half. Not nearly long enough. It was so unexpected, so sudden, so tragic. And I miss her so much. Thank you guys. 
You guys all told me horses are different, Laura, and I didn't believe you. You all told me horses are different, and I really did not believe you, but horses are so different. A lot of people don't understand that animals have emotion. They might not be exactly the same way that we process things, but, anim but animals feel. They feel love. They feel affection. They feel hatred. They feel, they feel it all. Look at this dog who is just so upset that I'm upset. Animals feel emotion. Love rules the world. I want to thank you guys for all your love and for being there for us and for me on the day that Stella died. My kids have told me that you've sent them so many messages and it's helped so much. But I want you guys to know that through it all, Gabby was so strong and she led everything that happened that day. She, she took care of Stella when I couldn't. She guided us. She, She was quiet and calm and so strong for all of us, but mostly she was so strong for Stella. I know it's hard to see in our videos, but Gabby takes care of all of us. She is like Sam and she takes care of all of us and she takes care of all of our horses. Without Gabby there, I don't know what I would have done. We all cried ourselves to sleep last night, but now that this video is made, I'm gonna say goodbye to the bad. I don't want to remember all the things that happened. I don't want to remember all the what ifs, what we could have done different. I don't want to remember all those. I want to move forward and only remember the good. And it's going to be really hard. And I don't know how to video our barn. I don't know how to video our chores. I don't know how to video our ponies. I feel lost a lot. I don't know how. <laughs> Ruby, you're the best dog. Never leave us, okay? I don't know how it's gonna look. I don't know how it's gonna be, but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna move forward and I am done with the bad. I'm done with the reliving it. I'm done with all of it. All I can do is move forward now, you guys, and I, I want us all to move forward together. And thank you so much for everything and for all your love. And all those comments long ago when you said Stella loves you, Stella loves you even before I was sure they mean so much to me because Stella did, did love me she did she loved us all but she taught me how to teach a horse to love you anyway that is it and I'm sorry if this is not the video you wanted to see so close to Christmas this is not the video that we wanted to make Onward and upward. Rest in peace, my beautiful Stella Bell. God, always has a plan, always. And I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen. A friend told me that maybe out there is another horse that needs us. That needs just a little bit of love. So who knows what will happen. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll lend for you a little while, my grandest foal, he said, for you to love while she's alive and mourn for when she's dead. It may be one or twenty years, or days or months, you see, but will you, till I take her back, take care of her for me? She'll bring her charms to gladden you, and should her stay be brief, you'll have treasured memories as solace for your grief. I cannot promise she'll stay, since all from earth return. But there are lessons taught on earth I want this foal to learn. I've looked the wide world over in my search for teachers true. And from the throngs that crowd life's lanes, with trust, I have selected you. Now will you give her total love, nor think the labor vain, nor hate me when I come to take her back again? I know you'll give her tenderness and love will bloom each day and for the happiness that you've known forever grateful stay. But should I come and call for her much sooner than you'd planned, you'll brave the bitter grief that comes and someday you'll understand. For though I'll call her home to me, this promise to you I do make, 
For all the love and care you gave, she'll wait for you inside heaven's gate. I've been running round in circles Chasing my tail and lost my way Seeking shelter in different corners Never finding a place to stay Somehow ended up here on the ground Brother, help me up, I've fallen down I know that I've hurt the ones that I hold dear The ones I love Thought that I would find the answers Drinking till my feet felt numb Just like father did when I was young I don't know how I could be so dumb I've been lost far too long I can't see I'm trapped in dark 